So I just got myself a cup of coffee, some fresh flowers for the flat. I'm gonna uh, undress, settle in. And now uh, we're gonna start this uh, video talking about capsule wardrobe and all that jazz. Let's do it. essentials but now I also want a hair lip situation because literally I went out like this came back like this and I haven't put any makeup on I have done my skincare routine earlier this morning as always uh, not a day not a morning goes by without the whole skincare routine and especially if I'm at home if I don't work I just take my sweet little time and enjoy the little morning uh, ritual uh, how are you? I hope you're all well. So this is my first sit down um, video since I came back from Australia and uh, while I was on holiday I was having you know I was having a lot of fun. I switched off, I rested, I relaxed but at some point I just thought of course I had videos planned to, be, to go live um, every week while I was away but at some point I thought I've really missed, you know, doing a little bit of research, filming videos, putting things together. And I was just started thinking, okay, what videos do I want to uh, put together once I'm back? And uh, voila, here I am. Uh, let's have a sip of coffee first. This is the second coffee of the day, by the way. The first uh, coffee of the day is always my Greek coffee first thing in the morning as soon as I wake up. And I have to say that well, I'm super excited about today's uh, video because capsule wardrobe pieces that I would recommend and I would buy right now, even though um, as this video will unfold, you, we will all realize that some of the items that I'm recommending and talking about are already in my capsule wardrobe. Some pieces are here, some pieces are uh, in the other wardrobes, uh, in the flats that I have, and uh, so on. Uh, capsule wardrobe is a very dear theme uh, to me, and I have to say that I started building my very own capsule wardrobe while this channel went live, and I was trying, you know, to find my, my style, my niche, if you like, it's uh, what I wanted to do with this channel, what value did I want to bring to my channel but also to my life because it's nice to do something but you need to get something out of it along with your uh, viewers. So this past year I have been slowly steadily working on my very own capsule uh, wardrobe um, and you know it's trial, error, uh, trying to find my style, my size, my color palette and all this um, jazz as I like to say. Uh, so today I'm going to um, talk about 11 pieces. I mean I would talk about more pieces but I don't want to make it super lengthy and super you know overwhelming. Of course there are more pieces that I could select but let's keep it super super simple. Uh, pick some uh, basics and uh, here is a little um, inside story uh, for anyone who has watched the video will know that but the very first pieces that I ordered from COS and of course I did a filming I did a haul were a pair of jeans that actually I have kept these are the arch jeans in the light blue shade and a white shirt so these were the first two pieces that I ordered and tried on and were you know within that capsule uh, wardrobe uh, category let's say ready for uh, item number one I'm going to start with bottoms and then I'll go to tops then I'll go to uh, outwear and then some accessories here and there okay so first item is a staple from COS and from any other brand I mean I'm talking about COS because genuinely this is uh, the shop the brand that I uh, shop from um, the prices are I think affordable it's a nice range of prices uh, there they do really good sales but you know you can go uh, higher end let's say or you can go uh, lower price uh, points as well so 
focus on cost, but let's really focus on the actual items that I will be discussing um, in this uh, video. So the first uh, item is a pair of wide leg trousers. Taylor is my preference, in all honesty. And color wise, I would choose black to begin with because I think black a uh, black pair of tailor wide leg trousers is a staple you will wear it i think more than you can ever uh, imagine um now sometimes i'm scared of the wide leg and the full length just because of my height and for reference i'm 160 centimeters uh, probably five foot three or something uh, like that and this kind of trousers need extra tailoring for me so it wouldn't be my best option when i choose trousers but nevertheless i think it is um, it is a staple um, and cos do amazing tailored trousers uh, look out for some discount codes that they might send you along the way once you sign up look out for the sale as i've mentioned earlier just to take advantage of an extra uh, discount instead of uh, paying uh, full uh, price. Now the second category is another um, style of trousers which is my uh, preferred ones uh, let's say and those are the the barrel trousers that cause do really well. Again we have some nice colors uh, available uh, there. I would opt simply because it is spring I would opt for that beautiful light gray uh, one there's also the navy one which is mm, delicious and why i like this uh, trousers because i think they are versatile and you can wear them with so many uh tops and you can cr create so many looks uh but personally i love the length uh they are like ankle length uh, they don't look short on me at least and they look sophisticated elegant classic not too uh, sporty but of course you can dress it up and down uh, this foot it's up uh, to you and they are in wool but this fine wool i mean i have my wool blazer here it keeps me warm but also it's so so fine so i can wear it in the winter and i can wear it in uh, during the spring and even in the summer just to throw it on and this is something that i like with my wardrobe i've mentioned it again i like to have pieces to use as much as possible throughout the year throughout the seasons uh, and of course some pieces might be a little bit lighter uh, and this is where the art of layering uh, comes in and you know creates uh, some magic so item number three is a pair of jeans i'm sure everyone has a pair of jeans before i started this capsule wardrobe uh, route i did have some old jeans but I wasn't wearing them that much simply because I think the style I wasn't very comfortable with. Um, I definitely wanted a change. It's just I didn't walk, I didn't know what, what shape, what style, and I hadn't found you know my one. So sometimes when I used to wear jeans, I didn't feel my most comfortable self, in all honesty. I felt they were tight here, there, everywhere. And also I felt that they were not, no matter what my weight at the time, they were not very flattering for my body type. So uh, yeah, maybe this was on my mind, but that's how I was thinking about it. And this is until I found the arch jeans um, at cost. Uh, size reference for myself is 27. They are a little bit tight around the waist and bum. Uh, there are some other people who choose um i've seen uh, on youtube videos that uh, they choose um 27 and it is a little bit loose on uh, them um but if i if i was to go a size up 28 it would be too baggy around my legs so 27 uh, is my size i have them in three colors actually i started with the light blue jeans which was my very first cost uh, purchase um during the time that i have this youtube channel and uh, then i uh, recently purchased the white ones uh and because i love the white ones because you know white sometimes especially in trousers is not that forgiving so i tried it on i felt really good i felt confident i really like the look it's perfect for this spring 
uh, summer uh, looks with tank tops, you know, blazer, not blazer, whatever you choose to wear. And then I said, you know what, I really need the gray ones, black, but with the gray tone that they have. So now you choose your color. I would, I would probably start again with a light uh, blue or a shade of blue as a staple um, to start building your wardrobe, but the choice is yours for uh, the color. And now let's move up, let's go to uh, tops, right? So I'm not kidding, if you were about to open uh, the drawer where I have my t-shirts, pretty much everything is from cost, simply because they are so convenient, so comfortable. I like the cotton, I have found my size, I'm super happy with. And when it comes to tees, I mean from other brands as well, they are quite, you know, it's a low price uh, point, you know. Um, and I think the more the merrier, especially the white ones, because I don't want to be wearing the same white t-shirt over and over again. I want to take breaks in between and uh, switch uh, things up and then just uh, wash them just to keep the color and the quality for as long as possible. So the option for this video would be, actually it's something that I haven't purchased yet. Uh, it's the white tee, but the heavyweight one, which has a beautiful round neck and it is slightly shorter. That was my first concern, that it is a little bit short, but I think it really needs the right attire to go with uh, it, if you know what I mean. Uh, the shorter t-shirt doesn't go with everything, but you can make it uh, work. So I have my eyes on that, probably in a medium, because I don't want it to be super tight and I think the smaller the size the shorter it is uh, if it makes sense so I think medium would be my size but I really like yeah how heavy it looks on the model um, and I really like uh, the neck it's super super elegant and white of course would be my number one choice option because I mean it is a staple I think first is white then black and then I do love gray as well I don't have gray t-shirts um and this is again on my list um for my hustle wardrobe now another uh top option would be stripes anything with stripes is a must for a capsule wardrobe uh, for me because i mean uh, it's so you know it's so french it's so elegant it's so easy going so relaxing and what i like with the option of the long sleeve stripy top that COS has is that you can wear it of course as a top but it's a beautiful layering piece just to throw on top of whatever you're wearing you know you can wear a tank top or a t-shirt and you want to put this on top or you can wear a tank top with your blazer and you just want something extra on top and I have to admit that during spring we don't tend to wear a lot of scarves um, and I am such a scarf person and I find that if you have a nice little long sleeve um, top just to throw on and create the illusion of a scarf is ideal uh, however I do wear scarves no matter uh, what but as a general rule I mentioned that uh, when it comes to spring I mean, if the weather is still cold like it is in London, I would still wear my cashmere or wool scarf like earlier on. I think I put it away uh, that I popped out to get my coffee. It is, you know, spring here in London, but actually there's no spring. So I'll throw, I'll throw the cashmere uh, scarf no matter what. But when it gets warmer, I will have some cotton ones and personal favorites are the silk scarves. I mean. They're so elegant and beautiful layering piece. They complete the look and they just give me that comfort uh, that I need around uh, my neck in all honesty. So moving on to the next uh, staple uh, piece from a cause is a shirt. Again, you choose your color. Uh, my The first item that I ordered, the first shirt that I ordered was in white, nice, you know, cotton, beautiful cotton um, uh, fabric. I personally like the buttons to show, so I don't want hidden buttons. I don't know why, I mean, it's just a thing uh, that I have. 
Uh, pocket or not pocket, I mean, I'm not too precious about it. I think sometimes I do like a pocket. It makes it a little bit more casual. If we take the pocket away, it makes it more structured and uh, more business-like. And, uh, and my second color um, would be that light, do I have it here? Oh yes, I have it. That light uh, blue color, I call it baby blue. It's beautiful and especially this color for uh, summer, spring, summer is, you know, it's, it's really, really beautiful. And you can mix and match it with uh, nice tan accessories, you know, earthy tones, and it just makes the whole look a little bit, you know, softer. Um, so again, you choose your color, but I think a cotton shirt should be in everyone's uh, wardrobe, whether you call it capsule or uh, not. It's such a staple and I, what I love with the shirts is that, of course, you can wear them um, with nothing underneath. Um, you can just roll up uh, the sleeves. You can unbutton the buttons. I unbutton a lot of buttons because I want my skin to uh, breathe. And another favorite combo that I've really came to terms with and felt comfortable wearing it is only you know recently has been recently is a tan top and a shirt on top before i was i don't know i felt i guess i didn't feel very comfortable wearing a tan top because uh, like my bra straps will always um show and wearing a strapless bra is not always very comfortable and wearing no bra at all is not an option for me only if i'm on holiday and the tank top is a black one so you know what i mean um but i have started feeling comfortable with my skin and with this uh, style and it is uh, amazing and you have you know a couple of tank tops a couple of shirts and you create so many looks with just a handful of clothes so for me this is genius uh, really a little bit late to the party as always but i guess uh, better late than uh, never, no? So next uh, item, I think I'm done with the tops. I'm going to go to the outwear and I have uh, three options. <clears throat> so the first one is that beautiful boxy jacket that COS have released recently. I got it in this uh, color. As I've mentioned before, I want to have a little bit of a brighter palette uh, in my uh, wardrobe. Um, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's it's indeed boxy and it, it is indeed a little bit oversized and the sleeves are super, super long. Um, I've opted for size small. Uh, I would choose for this video, my uh, recommendation would be the light gray one because I think it's beautiful along with this uh, color, uh, of course, again, you choose. I wouldn't, I wouldn't go for black in all honesty uh, for the season. Um, but uh, the handy uh, thing is that you can always roll up the sleeve because uh, I didn't want to go extra small. I think I would compromise on the length of uh, the jacket and I wouldn't like it to have it uh, short and it's fine. I mean, I like when I'm wearing it, it's a little bit slouchy uh, here and it's super slouchy here, but I can always uh, pull the sleeves uh, up a little bit. It's, it's a beautiful, it's a beautiful piece. And another staple piece for your wardrobe outwear um, category is that black wool cardigan. I've purchased it um, a couple of weeks ago. I have featured it in my channel, but I returned it because I felt it was a little bit short. Ideally, I would have liked it a little bit longer because I kept the jacket, I returned the cardigan. But nevertheless, the cardigan is beautiful. It's the one with the two pockets in the front. And it also comes in the stripy version, um, but I didn't like that the pockets for that one were white instead of just falling on uh, the stripes. <laughs> this felt like um, like Kate Middleton uh, Photoshop uh, editing uh, failure <laughs> to me, in all honesty. Um, but another thing that I like with this uh, black cardigan uh, is, again, it can be so versatile. You can wear it with your tops. You can wear it a little bit often. Uh, 
clothes you can put a nice little scarf silk scarf around your neck if you decide to button it up and you can just throw it on your shoulders with anything that uh, you're wearing and make it the perfect transitional layering uh, piece for uh, the season and now the last outwear uh, piece of clothing that i've selected is the trench coat i haven't purchased purchased a trench coat from cost yet um, but i really like the tailoring that they do in the trench uh, coats currently i have a beige one from H&M and I like the base version that cause I have, have this season. I'm not too sure about the hooding situation um, but I like the style, I like the color and the length. Um, my H&M is also super lengthy and when it comes to trench coats for me it needs to be long and it needs to be covering what I'm wearing. I don't like if I'm wearing, a, let's say, a skirt or a dress, I don't like it to show from the trench coat. Uh, if you're wearing something short, of course, there's no um, issue. But I think longer trench coats, I, they just bring a bit of elegance to, uh, to the look and make it a little bit more interesting. Of course, there is the shorter version. It's beautiful as a transitional little jacket, but it wouldn't be my number one choice at this stage uh, I think it's something that I've never purchased so I'm not familiar with this uh, style hence yeah um, I didn't have mm, uh, I thought about it <laughs> in all honesty and now uh, a few more items remaining so they are accessories um, I think when it comes to accessories they just oomph you know the volume to your capsule wardrobe and eventually the look that you decide to create uh, i love bags i love bags i love bags i love shoes as well but in all honesty after a recent incident that i have i've decided not to invest on shoes from a high street brand so i've recently purchased the ballerinas from cost beautiful vibe beautiful style but quality wise i don't think they were there for me you know of course if i compare the ballerinas with some other other ballerinas from i don't know chanel uh, alaya uh, le monde Beril, uh, id and other brands like that the price is just you know <laughs> there is a big big gap uh, there but i'd rather invest some money on better quality and better structure shoes than you know just spend 100 pounds and um, the shoes last for a season or you know they get destroyed easily and the incident that i have was not from cost the cost was i just decided to uh, return because they were not for me but who remembers my h m uh, loafers they completely ripped do i have them here one moment let me bring them to you so here we are this is the style of uh, loafers of course they have given in you know the leather is not super hard uh, it's quite uh, sensitive but this is where they ripped can you see ripped can you see the big the big hole there i mean i was shocked i was shocked i mean fair enough uh they were not very expensive but it is a real leather and it just tells me that the stitching was just a messy sloppy uh, job uh, yeah I was a little bit disappointed when I one day I was just getting ready and I put the um, shoes on and I thought oh, what um, so I said okay I think it's time for you now to understand that don't buy uh, shoes even if they are leather even they, if they are from the premium selection from the high street because um, yeah it's it's not worth it so hence I haven't included any shoes from uh, cause because you know I wanted to be true to myself and I wouldn't like to just also just something because it is uh, pretty um, but I have selected one bag in two different uh, colors it comes in black and white you choose your color um, as the first one I would choose the black one I think because it is super you know so classic and versatile let me just find it on my computer it uh, reminds me of the um, Veloeve uh, bag and again at a fraction of the price.
price. It is leather and I have purchased leather bags from COS uh, before and I think the quality is really, really uh, good. Um, and I would not hesitate to purchase uh, again. Can you see the bag? I have this one, it's so pretty. I had it with me in Australia. Um, I, wore, I wore it quite a lot with uh, all black outfits. It was nice and it fits just about everything I wanted to, to fit. Where is the bag? Oh, by the way, they still have this bag uh, on the website, 69 pounds. I got it on sale. I got it at a fraction of uh, the price. And you know, when I go out and about, I see so many people uh, with um, the kilted bag. I mean, this bag is such a hit, isn't it? Uh, it's amazing. So the bag that I have selected is, a sip of coffee, is the mini Cavatelli clutch. I mean, price-wise, delicious, 95 pounds, and it comes in black and white. And it comes with a crossbody as well and we can have it as a pouch it's so so beautiful i'm really tempted of uh, ordering because i want to see it uh, up close and uh, personal and i really like uh, this uh, style loewe vibes uh, but at a fraction of the price because i mean the loewe bag is is so 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 expensive i can, just cannot justify the price in a lot of things and the last item that I have included in this um, haul, and let's wrap it up because I'm talking so much, is um, a pair of sunnies. So when I was in Australia, oh, they are just uh, cleaning my windows. Okay, so when I was in Australia, I popped into a uh, cause and um, it might get uh, dark. Oh, hey, hi. Uh, so I popped into Australia and I wanted to see the Linda Faro collaboration. I purchased a pair of sunnies uh, before from COS last year on sale, the tortoise ones in um, brown, um, in the brown color, they're beautiful. And I have selected three options. I think my first one was the rectangular in black acetate from the Linda Faro uh, collection. But when I was checking earlier this morning, it was completely sold out. Um, and I guess the reason why I like this is because they remind me of the sunnies that I purchased from Cos uh, last year. So I have two more options uh, for you to check out and let me know what uh, your thoughts are. Uh, the second option is the cat eye. I mean, I love a cat eye. It's very like edgy. I haven't tried them on, but something tells me that it is a little bit exaggerated, but nevertheless, it looks uh, nice. And the third option is the oval uh, look. Um, the oval uh, sunnies, again, everything is from the Linda Faro collection. So price-wise, the Linda Faro collection is a little bit pricier than their other uh, sunnies uh, that they have from their own collection. But, you know, uh, it is what it is, I guess. Um, and these oval ones, I, I have also alternatives. Uh, alternatives that are super, super uh, nice uh, from Les Specs. Check that brand out. I really like it. The model that reminds me of these uh, cos ones are called Outer Love. And uh, they come in brown and in black as well. And they are significantly cheaper. So here's a little uh, tip uh, for you. I do have a couple of less specs uh, sunnies. I used to have more in the past. I've sold some on eBay, um, but it's a brand that I, I think it's effortlessly cool. If I'm not wrong, they are Australian. If I'm not wrong. Um, and yeah i really like them so this is a wrap from me guys 11 uh, items i hope there were 11 by the way uh from cos staples from your capsule wardrobe uh so we had a little bit of a mixture it wasn't strictly let's say spring um but uh nothing was too heavy so i think all of the pieces that we've discussed in the, in the video are perfect for transitioning between the seasons for a uh, spring, but also really staples to have in your, you know, uh, wardrobe like that throughout the year and just, you know, be clever about them when uh, the weather is uh, changing. 
thank you for tuning in thank you for watching the video i hope you enjoyed it if uh, you haven't subscribed to the channel and uh, you have enjoyed the content please smash the subscribe button um like the video so it can reach more people uh like us and feel free to do you know share your thoughts your comments anything you have on your mind in the comments uh box uh, down below i love reading uh, your comments and i love you know just engaging with every single one of uh of you it just gives me so much uh, joy and i think other than you know other than how many views a video has um when i receive comments uh on a video I, i'm it makes me happy because it means that you know people have watched it have showed some interest they want to interact they have something to say whether it is something positive you know or something you know something constructive as well like hey i didn't like this because you know or i wouldn't put this um jacket with that because and so on you know i everyone is allowed to have an opinion and everyone is allowed to, to, to share it so thank you for um, uh, the comments that you are sending uh, my way keep them coming and I hope I'll see you in my next uh, video until then take good care of yourselves uh, be stylish uh, be positive be happy and a big kiss to all of you ciao guys